newest book in this collection of nearly 200 copy books is this book uh, written by John, you can read the, the very florid uh, writing of the time, it's actually John Boovy, B-O-O-V-I-Y, his book, 1704. Quite extraordinary here, um, Boovy has actually copied out from another source uh, the logarithms to seven decimal places of all the numbers from one to 10,000. So we have the logarithm of 10 is 1.0, the logarithm of 100 is over here, this is 2, and so on, because it's 10 to the power of 2. He writes us out, there's pages and pages of logarithms copied out by Boovey. There's even an errata page here, uh, where he's made one or two little slips and he's fitted in a little errata page. Uh, he made a slip very early on, though, which he probably kicked himself for at the end of the day, because in fact the title of the whole set of tables of logarithms, the word logarithm itself, is actually misspelt. There's a T and the H is missing from logarithms. Uh, he writes logarithms correctly subsequently, so that was a rather odd slip at the start. Um, this is another one of the copy books uh, from the early 19th century, and it's a, it's a large-scale work, uh, and it's volume three geometry. It's actually volume three out of five volumes produced over a two-year period by uh, one Robert Smith of the Green Row Academy. And the date of this particular volume is 1832. This, the, the topics covered in this volume are geometry, trigonometry, mensuration or measurements and surveying of land and uh, Robert Smith uh, also uh, when he was doing the work on the some of the measurements and surveying actually engaged in some rather nice and attractive uh, water coloring alongside the mathematics so with regards to finding heights and distances and these are problems with calculations for finding heights and distances we have some really quite nice uh, watercolours produced by Robert Smith alongside the, the, the actual text themselves. Well, that's a particularly fine example there uh, where we've got like, a little cottage and a tower and the mathematics is integrated with the watercolours.